Does this smartwatch support measuring blood pressure? This is among the most often asked questions under the hundreds of smartwatch reviews that I've done for you. The BP Doctor Pro has a micro air pump inside, and yeah, it does support measuring your blood pressure. So, let's inspect! Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Michael is my name, and what we do here is to inspect fresh and cool tech. Today we're going to talk about wearables, and we use them for so many different purposes. Like, some people use them for health tracking, for tracking sport activities, sleep tracking, could be just for fun or yet another stylish accessory. So today we're going to pay attention to the more medical side of the story, because this device by the company YHE is called the BP Doctor Pro, and yes, one of the very few that can really measure your blood pressure based on something integrated inside the watch. So all the bad and the good things and whether this is worth the money. It is true, other wearables like Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 have the BP feature as part of the feature set, but the accuracy is based on algorithms and readouts of sensors, while here we have a small pump and technology which represents a mini blood pressure device integrated inside the smartwatch. Price is around $400, and let's carry on with unpacking. This is how I received it. Standard box for a smartwatch, I'd say even a bit bulkier than most other brands. Here's the watch. Design looks good, kind of weird-looking strap, at least that's what I thought until I figured out that it's a very special one and decides to be inflatable. The watch feels heavy and solid overall, and there must be a lot of electronics inside. There's a charging station, unfortunately having a micro USB port as opposed to a Type-C. As usual for this kind of wearables, there's a large display responding to touches, bunch of sensors on the back sides, which are in contact with your wrist and make the health tracking readouts. I'll quickly go over the specs and we'll do some more research and measurings afterwards. Support for medical grade blood pressure measuring accuracy, patented inflatable air cuff, MediaTek processor, a 141 inch AMOLED display with 360 by 360 pixel resolution, 24 7 HR monitoring, blood oxygen saturation tracking, close to 13 mm thickness, and specially developed by YHE operating system. Specs, yes, yeah, so many of them, and sometimes really difficult to understand what they actually mean, and this is why we do a lot of real life tests and use cases and scenarios. Well, obviously this represents a wearable device combining uh, the features of a fitness tracker grade device, display and other features, and a very minimalistic integrated blood pressure measuring device. Well, two things which are important to highlight. First of all, on YHE's website there is nowhere where they claim it's medically certified, but they promise medically grade accuracy, which should be no more than 10% deviation compared to a professional device. That's pretty good. The uh, thing that could be a bit challenging, because obviously this strap is inflatable, it's not so easy to replace because you see it's sort of integrated, therefore you can't count on aftermarket different colored straps. Um, and I think now the most important would be, since this is the major highlight, to find out how exactly we take a BP measurement. Put the watch on the wrist, make sure it's already paired with your phone, if not it takes just a couple of minutes. By the way, weirdly my unit has arrived being preset to Chinese language, and I was able to change this from the watch settings only with the help of Google Lens Translator. Press the button to go to the app list, select the BP option, make sure the strap is tightly buttoned around your wrist. You have to keep the watch at the level of your heart for best results, and also your hand and body needs to be in resting condition. Simply start the process, don't move or talk for a couple of minutes until the measurement takes place. You're gonna feel some more pressure being created around your wrist, exactly as it would feel with dedicated medical device. In the end, it shows the results, which are usually very close to what a medically tested device actually shows. The really nice part is that you can schedule BP measuring reminders, like one for the morning, one for the afternoon, if you know that the person wearing it needs such kind of functions. And the results can be tracked remotely via the app. The rest of the functions are accessible through the menus, 
There are two buttons. The top one is a power button turning the screen on and off. And here's the menu button, which leads to most of the apps. Scrolling speed is apparently not spectacular, but animations and the overall design feel good. You're going to see apps similar to most fitness tracking devices, like the Mi Band series, for instance. No way to install extra apps. We count on whatever YHE have integrated. HR data, SPO2 tracking, sleep tracking, steps, a few exercise modes. There is no GPS, so outdoor tracked activities wouldn't show any route or something. Most of the apps are capable of pulling samples 24-7. Therefore, you count on quite a lot of info shown inside the smartphone app. It's called BP Doctor. You can find it for both Android and iOS. It's tidy, bunch of health data groups. Like, you can find information about the steps that you make per day or read data about your sleep cycles. In order to have these results, you're gonna have to wear the watch 24-7, of course. And keep in mind that for sleep cycles, it doesn't show REM status yet. The rest of the data seems to be pretty accurate. The HR sensor was able to detect spikes when I was putting my body under physical stress. Measuring blood oxygen saturation is also among the features. No continuous mode, though. This is done in order to preserve battery life. Notifications are also shown. Whatever you receive on the phone is gonna pop up on the watch screen as well. No responses to these notifications are possible, though. Not from the watch, at least. You know that I like to rate products based on real-life usage and assess the strengths and weaknesses. For the few days I've spent with the BP Doctor Pro smartwatch, I found out that it feels a bit bulky, although it is among the slimmest offering this technology. It has no inbuilt GPS, no speaker, no microphone, no Wi-Fi, and it is not waterproof. The battery life is also not that remarkable. If you make BP readings more often, this literally involves an air pump, so that consumes a bit more of energy. Around three days is what I got with regular kind of usage and health parameters being tracked all the time, which is a good enough achievement in my opinion. Final thoughts. It's really good to see that blood pressure measuring is making its way to wearable devices and I expect to see more different models in the coming months and years with even better accuracy, although I think I can only praise the BP monitor inside because it has been consistent and accurate almost all the time. In terms of smartwatch features, there's obviously a lot to catch up with. And I really hope that YHE are going to release some further firmware enhancements in order to improve certain functions and bring in some new features. If you happen to have any follow-up questions or possibly comments, be invited. The section is down below the video. As usual, link to the product, more information and possibly a discount code somewhere in the description below. I thank you very much for watching this episode here. Hopefully useful and entertaining and if that's the case, hit the like, subscribe to the channel for more cool tech inspections. I'm Michael and wishes for a fantastic day. Bye! <laughs>